We are live and we are back. Let's go. I'm Corey. I'm Jordan. And this is the Corey and Philip Back Podcast, and we are back. Like we never left. We are back like we never left. Episode 23. Episode 23, as in the Jordan episode. Jordan episode. Not, as in, not as in Jordan. That's yeah. No, no, no. Is it, Jordan isn't me. As, as, in, okay, as no. in the goat. Jordan isn't the goat. 23. <laughs> But since this is episode 23, this is the last episode of September, what does that mean? Next week is October. Which means this is the last non-violent episode. For those who've been listening, I don't care how you feel about the violence. When I turn this joker back on, I already put it like this. I already have Instagram posts queued up. <laughs> now, the, the violence doesn't leave Twitter. So if you, you, you know, people don't be, it's hard to get anything liked on Twitter. But yeah. <laughs> Twitter is just so hard to go viral on. People be paying for it, though. But, yep, I already have some stuff queued up for the 1st of October. I do not care what y'all have to say. Y'all y'all will see that the violence is bad. So, for our first-time listeners, Corey, what do we talk about? We talk about finances and fitness or health and wealth or whatever you want to call it. We want to make sure you save more and say less. And keep making better your best. Yes, yes. Let's and, get it. And then we have errors. Do we have errors or do I have errors? I think you have errors. Because Jordan said, what is, what is I can't even see today. What is the perfect app? I said my episodes were perfect. No, he hasn't listened to them yet. <laughs> we already did a little bit of this because Jordan got nervous, which is good. He was like, bro, I think it's broken. Bro, talk. <laughs> like, I ain't even going to hold you. You know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> You're good. Oh, my goodness. All right. So for my errors, to clarify how to pay off debt, because I was talking about debt on episode 21 as far as um, the accrual and the interest rates. So some of you might have student, I think student loans probably the only thing like this. Well, who knows? Y'all be too Anyways, you can have one payment, right? You guys say you have five student loans. You have a 2000 you know, a five, a 10, a 15, and a 20, but you make one $500 payment and it goes towards all of that loan, all those loans. So how would you like rank that as far as in your debt payoff strategy? You would just rank things in order from total balance. You would view that all as one loan because it's all one payment. Because if you, I mean, depending on how the loan is set up, usually if you say you aggressively pay off your $2,000 loan because that's your smallest quote unquote loan, your payment is still usually a $500 payment. So you don't make any progress from that standpoint. Again, I was talking about the cash flow benefit that you get when you pay off debt from smallest to largest. I know you have, that's a, it's a separate loan, but you don't quote unquote get that minimum payment back because it's all viewed as one loan. They, that's how they disperse the loans to you usually when you go and get your student loan debt. I think I had like five or six loans. If you do a, if you do a, um, what are those things called? A refinance, usually they, they, you know, they pay off all those loans and you have one loan. So right. that's the easiest way to look at it um, from that standpoint. But yeah, if you have a whole bunch of student loans, you know, you just still pay them off. You would quote unquote rank them from the, um, you would rank, you would keep the payments attached to them. So if you got $50,000 in student loans, but it's five different loans, if it's still one payment for that, it's $50,000. You can look at it how it's set up differently, but that's that's just too much work. Right. Too much work you have to do. This is when you have to contact somebody if you can't figure it out. <laughs> that's when I'm at the point now. Like, look, you have to reach out to me. And then, um, uh, so, oh yeah, because y'all be, <laughs> y'all be complaining about the damn interest on freaking loans. We're gonna talk about student loans today when I go. But so let's say your interest rate is 7.2, right? I've done this before, just to clarify, because I should have did it uh, on the student loan episode on 21. So your interest rate is 7.2 yearly, right? So that means you pay 0.006% a month on, as far as interest, because you divide that yearly interest rate by 12, because it's 12 months in a year. So you're paying 600 per $100, which is 60 cents per $100. Or if you have, excuse me, wait. Yeah, 60 cents. No, that's probably, yeah, that's 60, yeah, 60 cents. <laughs> so if you have $100,000, you'll end up paying um, $60 a month. Why are we talking about $60? You know, talking about which way should I pay it off? No, we're talking about $60 per $100,000 per month. I don't care. Just get, just get rid of it. <laughs> it's 60 cents per $100, okay? $60 per $10,000. I mean, like, it gone yeah get it gone <laughs> and then remember if that's if you just have the ten thousand sitting there when you pay it off faster it's, it's not the violence episode but jordan said jordan says no, no, no. i know the question jordan does too this, yeah this okay. episode we using all the explicit right. tag all right all of it yeah and then i just want to say because not many people watch this on youtube but youtube for whatever reason the episode uploaded late for episode 21 so my apologies for that and then for episode 18, I kept saying episode 19 was the fitness episode. 
good thing we named them, but episode 18, 18 is the fitness tech episode. I mean, you probably already know that by now because you went to 19 and it wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> but because I kept saying, you kept asking me too. I was like, yes, 19. And, uh, no. I just asked because I know I don't know yeah. for sure. Oh, well, I don't know for sure either. Hey, man, your guess is better than my eyes at 11. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then because uh, uh, my man is telling me this. So uh, one of our, I kept saying we have an accountant on our team. He just let me ride out, but he is an auditor. <laughs> He's on an actual accountant. And then, Shout out to him. yeah, and then uh, I still don't care. And then I said, um, 36 million seconds in a year is 31, whatever. The math still stands on how much a trillion is. So, yeah, there's that. All right, boom, locked and loaded. Are you good? I did get feedback. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't see like right, right, we, we skipped feedback. that section, but I did I did get feedback. Okay, yeah, it was okay. feedback. Uh, I got feedback. It was it was positive. People um, responded to our shorter episode format. Um, they said it's very digestible. Uh, you would be surprised. They actually did agree with you in saying ninety minutes is ninety plus minutes is is normal for a podcast. Um, for this listener, they, they they consume more than more than just oh, our okay, podcast, saying, yeah. and they were saying ninety plus minutes of listening to a podcast is that or you know like a podcast episode is actually normal. Um, but they appreciate that our format is an hour, which makes the content a little bit more digestible. Um, but they're saying if they had to listen to a 90 minute episode, it wouldn't be a problem either. Yeah, the goal was that we, I mean, obviously we've made progress. If we had, the issue is not that our episodes were long. When we started doing questions, we were doing three questions a piece. Right. Which is going to, you know, so now, now we're just doing one question. Yeah. So, I mean. Which is cool. Yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah so, I was like, this is the lowest we would ever go. Yeah. Like, I, I think it's it would be difficult to answer a question anymore, or in, what am I trying to say, in the amount of detail that we do, right, yeah. in less than an hour. Yeah. It's like, I mean, after the intro and all, you know, all that other stuff, it's like 20 something minutes each. Like, yeah, it's not a lot. Yeah, we're still taking the same amount of time on the questions. We're just actually doing less. That's that's all we actually changed. I went back and listened to the older ones. Right. Yeah, I, we, you know, we'd be an hour and a half, two hours in. Yeah. All right, next question. <laughs> So we're still giving y'all, you know, the 25, 30 minutes per question, but obviously, you know, that's about an hour each, which is two hours. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Are you good for that? Yes, sir. All right. Also this. I've already said this before. <laughs> I wish I'm going to have to get, <laughs> you know, you know how many times I've already said this before, before I actually went off and actually said it? No. <laughs> Bruh, I'm, I was saying it. <laughs> I've already said this before, before I already said this before. It's bad. It was bad. So, uh, yep, lock and loaded. Appreciate the feedback. On to the fitness section. Let's go. Yep, still awkward. <laughs> I was about to say, Corey, Corey always drinks his water. We sound like robots, do you hear it? I know. Fuck. Uh, Let me see what happens when I play it. I'm gonna do this. Do you think we're test, test, test. Oh. Yeah, hold on, let me think. Hold on. Oh no, it's gonna mess it, it's gonna mess it up. What's gonna mess what up? If I change the uh, power on the that's gonna cut the focus right off and cut it back on. Uh, It'll change the read, like where it reads it in at. Um, right, let me close it, reopen it, right? I should do that. Yeah. Do you want me to pause the YouTube? No, no, just leave that. Like I said, uh, shit, I was save it. Like I said, that one, that, they just, they just, one, the people don't watch it, and two, <laughs> yeah, guys, the shit is broken again. I keep telling Jordan to get another computer. He won't get another computer. He says, so much money at this minute. It is. It's a lot of money. You gonna, you gonna buy me, you buy me a laptop, I'll use it. <laughs> <laughs> You know the budget. Show me where I can get the money for the laptop from. Like, you act like you don't see my say. You got access to my budget. You literally know how much money I make on a monthly basis. How what much are you trying to spend? Are you trying to spend over five? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Is a, a desktop, bro? That I laptop know, right I there, know. again, 10 years old, was was like literally, I think it was like 1970 something. But it's, I mean, it's nice. It's got a. It's got a primary hard drive SSD. It's got a terabyte of storage. It's got RAM or uh, sixteen gigabytes of RAM. You know what I'm saying? It's like no. quad core. You know, like dual quad core or something. So it's like eight CPUs in there or something crazy. You know? Yeah, I feel you. I hope that shit fucking stay. Where's the uh, Down. I don't want to fuck that out of where. Yeah, no, it's right here. Oh. Come on, Jesus. I'm like, yeah, we going through this. All so, right. I know, right? Like, nigga, yeah, talk all about the, all the the Satan, Satan, all the trials. Satan. All right, everything is here. Hit, right. hit the before you 
Hit the test, just uh, turn the, hit the, on oh, each mic? Yeah. Oh, yeah. To, to make sure we sound. Yeah, we sound straight. Okay. I don't know why they don't just be randomly. In... Yeah, the one, like, this is the second time it's done it, so it's like, you know. Alright, let's see what we're going to talk about. Let's see what we're going to I think it was like right after the transition, it's just sound. Oh, yeah, it was right after that. Yeah, uh, like right after the music. Is it to my just in time? Alright, I think. Let me see if I can this way here. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, technical issues as always. Right, we're back. Stuff cut off. Yeah. If, now, I, if I'm about to do it multiple times, we're going to get locked tomorrow. We're going to get locked and loaded on this. Oh, one. man. Alright, first, thankfully it stopped, it stopped just in time, though. So, first, fitness question. Before we start recording, talking about how awkward my power, what power up is. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, acting like he don't like the music, yo. I mean, look, it's, it helps you get ready. It'll help you get ready? Your music don't help you get ready for your. your, your oh, function? yeah, mine does. Oh, so mine's just weird. You know you, what? You I'm going to the look at it. You want to. <laughs> Alright, so first, this is definitely, definitely going to be the only question. Look. <laughs> I will not answer any more questions. Okay, so this, is a, this is a listener question. And it says. Hold on, trigger warning. If you got kids and they listen to this episode, or they in the car with you while you listening to this episode, yeah, all right, it's about to get wild, okay? All that good stuff. Let's be very clear. We had the explicit tag on for a reason. Yes. So if you be running around with your kids in the car listening to this, stupid. And you but, must not know either of us in real life. The, <laughs> we gonna exercise all of the explicit. Yes. Yeah, so for those of us who right. don't know us in real life, yes, please. We have the explicit tag on for a reason. I know we've never really turned up. But this is going. This is going to be graphic. But this is this is going to be a Jordan's question is adult based. It really is. Okay. <laughs> oh, say all right. Stop teasing. I mean, look. Stop look, teasing. Look, all right. It's like it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh my Jesus. That's what. Let me stop. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. First fitness question. Yes. What is semen retention? What are the particular health benefits to that? And would you recommend? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be very clear. Disclaimer. Entertainment purpose only, only and Jordan is not a doctor. I am not a doctor. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what is semen retention? And then what are the health benefits? And do you recommend, I guess, actually practicing? Practicing. Right, everybody? Yeah. Pra practice is semen retention or not. Um, okay. Thank you, listener, for this question. So this particular oh, oh, listener. Okay. Before you get started, I am too immature for this topic. I just want to be very clear. <laughs> So I might not, I just have to not speak at all. No, nah, it's, it's all good, man. We're going to get into it. I'm going to try to be as, you know, professional with it as I can. Um, shout out to this listener for this question. Uh, this listener happens to be one of my mans. So I, at first, I thought he was trolling, like real talk, because he's, I know him perfectly. Like I said, I know him really well. Uh, I thought he was just messing with me, but it's a legit question. So I mean, I'm going to give him a legit answer. Uh, shout out to you. So let's get into it. Um, what is semen retention? I mean, it's in the name, but... Let's let's talk about exactly what it is. Semen retention is the uh, the is the bodily process of not um, ejaculating semen through any means um, for several purposes. Uh, depends on what you're doing it for. Um, yeah. So what does that mean, Corey? That means we're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. That means I, no type of sexual stimulation at all, either it's manual or by someone else. Okay, so let me, let me be clear. It doesn't mean no type of sexual stimulation. It just means I'm no about ejaculation. To, yeah, I'm talking about to get to the point where you're ejaculating. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. then, um, well, here's the thing. I mean, you still yeah. be having wet dreams, so that's not, that's not under your control. I mean, don't do that. Like, it's a wet... The, <laughs> okay. Stop, 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 do, stop doing it. Look. Wet, it's a dream. <laughs> you don't know you're doing it until you wake up. Oh, All the man. Know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I mean, in particular, the forms that you have control over, right? So no masturbating, uh, no engaging in sexual activity that results in ejaculation. That is you know, purposefully, that's semen retention, right? Uh, why do people do this? Uh, <laughs> semen retention has has several several effects. Um, I'll get into the why people do this after um, I actually discuss what the, what the effects that, semen, that ejaculating has on your body, right? Um, again, people listen to this, hopefully you're adults or you're, you know, you're at that point where you're having, um, you know, maybe relations or you're, you're at least ejaculating. Um, <laughs> so you, you, you can relate when I'm about to tell you exactly what happens when, when you ejaculate. Um, but for those who don't know, this is the kind of the, the high level science behind it, right? Um, when you ejaculate, you, you, there's, I mean, obviously there's a loss of energy, right? 
Um, the process itself is, is a actual physical stimulation, you know what I mean, whether you're doing it manually or you're doing it um, in some form of relation. Um, so it takes energy to actually get to the point where you have to ejaculate, but even after that process, you're actually, uh, your body is in the process of shooting out um, sperm and seminal fluid. And seminal fluid consists of um, fructose, proteins, um, as well as other vitamins and minerals. Uh, so you're actually literally expelling um, sources of energy that your body would use otherwise when you ejaculate. So I know you, you, you a lot of people probably don't think about that, but when you're, you know, when when, when your when your sperm comes out, when your sperm comes out and your seminal fluid comes out, you're literally shooting out um, energy that your body could be using otherwise, right? Uh, so effects that it has on your body, loss of energy. I, I don't know if y'all. <laughs> ever ejaculated and then try to do some form of physical activity um and i'm talking about like like exercise right not just functional movement not just walking or you know doing something that you would have to do throughout the day anyway but um it's a true story uh personally you know me being me i was in high school and you know i played football and i i, I uh <laughs> had some form of relations an hour before a game right before a football game and it's a team we're supposed to run through right like I mean, you know we, <laughs> we're supposed to, to run through we, <laughs> <laughs> Look, we gonna try to be mature as we can, but like I said, I like that semi Let's be very clear. Um, yeah, this was a team we were supposed to run through, and we we did as a team. My performance didn't reflect the whole entire team's performance, but when I say it was probably the worst football game I think I've ever had in my entire life, I was so tired, y'all. Like I was on the field. I'm right. This opening kickoff. I'm sweating dumb hard because I'm expelling extra energy, you know, because my, my body's trying to replenish itself. If you're going to, first of all, if you're going to have relations, don't have it an hour before the game because that's probably like literally prime re recovery period. Um, it's three days. Yeah. It takes but, three days to get back uh, to fill up all the way. It, it, it says, I mean, I read something that said two weeks for you to get back to where the, the, the effects are back to being beneficial. Beneficial? Right? Yeah. Okay. We'll put it like this. Things are probably, they have probably updated the data since I was in high school. Our coaches told us three, because our coaches told us what you said. Right. Our told us three days. <laughs> three days. Listen. And Tuesday? Then, look, too late. <laughs> it's crazy. So I, again, an hour before y'all, and I'm getting, I'm getting dragged. Like I'm, I'm running through the field normally, and I'll, I'll play middle linebacker, I'll play fullback. So that, those are high contact positions for people who aren't familiar with, uh, with football and how that works. I'm getting run over. You know what I mean? I'm supposed to be making blocks. I'm falling. I'm tired. It seems like I'm out of breath more than normal. Needless to say, I mean that that was that was the effect of me being a hot ass teenager uh, before the game. Um, yeah, you lost all your testosterone. Yeah, and that's that's crucial yeah. uh, to playing any sports, let, let alone a contact sport, right? When you football's already crazy because you got to run full speed into another person knowingly, you know, willingly every play, right? <laughs> so like stupid. I mean, if you think about it, like, so <laughs> it really is. But you know, to do it's that <laughs> with your testosterone depleted and your energy gone, low on fructose, I'm talking about. I thought I was gonna pass out, I'm cramping. You know what I mean? Like it, it was bad. So saying all that to say, one of the side effects of actually ejaculating is loss of energy. Uh, do not do it if you plan on uh, doing some type of form of physical activity. It will come back to bite you. Um, other side effects any, of ejaculation. Any, any, any more tips? No, no. This <laughs> Oh man, uh, other side effects of ejaculation, we kind of touched on this in the last one, um, but is the hormone imbalance that it causes. So, you know, your your body uh, produces testosterone, your testosterone levels immediately drop um, after ejaculation, right? It's it's the, the hormone that, that is produced that allows your body to uh, become aroused and, and, and produce um, seminal fluid and ejaculate sperm. And then after the activity happens, of course, you know, when you when you ejaculate, you you lose um, the ability, not the ability, you, your body slows down in its creation of testosterone, right? So what does that mean for you? Uh, what are the effects of testosterone? Uh, we talked about this, I think, before, and when we were talking about like um, muscle growth and the anabolic window and how your body produces more testosterone after physical activity, well, this is the inverse effect. If, if it produces less, um, your muscles don't re recover as quickly, um, you, you aren't um, testosterone um, gives you high energy when you're when you're moving weight, right? So you're you're low in energy and during the workout, um, yeah, having less testosterone when you're when you're getting 
when you're performing uh, in physical activity or just going throughout day-to-day -day, uh, functional movements is, is not where you want to be, all right? It's, it's not uh, beneficial to the exercise movement that you're performing, and it's also not beneficial to your recovery process. So not saying that you need to not ejaculate all the time, um, but <laughs> you, you do want to keep your testosterone levels balanced um, as much as you can, all right? Having a, def a deficit of testosterone, uh, especially for males, is not a good thing. I don't know if our listeners know this, but um, men and women both do have testosterone. It's just for men that is significantly higher. And, and the inverse of that is estrogen for women, right? Uh, men and women both do have estrogen. It's just significantly higher for women than it is for men. Um, and each one of those hormones has significant features um, that kind of help define gender, I think, gender roles, right? Wow. Uh, look. Disclaimer. I'm not dealing with that. Okay. Either. We're going to leave it alone. Because we, 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 we have tech issues. So yes. my brain, you know, part of my brain just you know. saying, we're not discussing uh, yeah. the gender roles. Estrogen and testosterone do exist. You can shoot yourself up with what you want because you are a grown. Let me not say gender roles. They define bodily characteristics. Uh, that I think that's the, you know what I mean? They, let me put it this way. You take more testosterone, you, you'll you start growing facial hair. Your muscles will get bigger. You know what I mean? it. it Testosterone allows um, for a human growth hormone. Again, we talked about this before, which as a result produces, you know, a, a larger person physically, right? So we're not going to say gender roles. We're going to say characteristics of the body. All right. That's pretty neutral. Um, you think until you, somebody comes in and tell you it's not. Listen, that, <laughs> if you're listening, that's not my intent. I'm just trying to tell you what the, what the, what the hormones do. What you want to do with them is up to you. Um, okay. So we're going to move into... The benefits of some repetition. Why would somebody want to do this? All right. Um, so we just covered what ejaculating does to the body. Um, so clearly, some repetition would have some of the the opposite of those effects, right? So um, one of the the positives of semen retention is improved stamina in um, this and in both a sexual and non sexual performance, right? Um, if you have semen retention, uh, or if you're if you're invoking semen retention. When you go to um, to have relations, all right, you have all that that testosterone, all that seminal fluid, all that sperm backed up. You're more than likely you will perform significantly better because you have not been performing this act. Um, because <laughs> you have not been performing this act at the frequency that you probably would be doing on a normal basis, right? Um, let's be clear: semen retention is usually a period of, I mean depending on who you are and what you're doing it for. It can be as long as two weeks. Some people do it even longer. I've read studies um, that stated that certain boxers or certain fighters um, might participate in semen retention up to six weeks before a, a prime fight. So that means no ejaculating, no sexual relations, no loss of uh, semen or seminal fluid or anything um, involved with ejaculation for six weeks. Um, just to heighten their testosterone to heighten it. Go ahead. I was like, I can only believe that so much because Wilt Chamberlain, his body count is like in the, they, it's so high they don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he, Wilt Chamberlain has like every basketball stat like known to man. Right. You know, so like, oh, you know, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's be, people take the Us studies involved people. with semen retention with a grain of salt. So let's let's be honest. There are exceptions to the rule. Will, will can be an exception to the rule. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm not going to um, make a joke. Because you talked about salt and semen. <laughs> For those who don't know, there's a high sodium <laughs> salt in seminal fluid. That, that's the joke. <laughs> so um, I've been told. I wouldn't know personally. Look, let me, also, let me, let me per, Look, per research. Because, <laughs> you know... <laughs> I'm, I'm shooting. I can't, let me stop. Anyways. Um, no, 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 no. Stop. The, the, <laughs> Oh man! Okay, back yes. on track. Yeah, so boxers can do it up to six weeks. For, yes, yes, yes. Or to, to, to prepare for an event or get ready for a fight, mm -hmm. um, in order to uh, maximize testosterone, um, in order to maximize concentration and focus, as well as stamina. So again, first benefit: improved stamina. Um, again, in a sexual performance as well as a non-sexual performance. Uh, I I stated earlier that ejaculation makes is loss of energy. So semen retention again the opposite of that is is having more energy right you'll be in a high energy state you're not um losing that fructose you're not losing that protein you're not you know losing that that sodium that you'll be using every time that you uh participate in ejaculation um so as a result your body's able to convert that into energy which you can then use for um, more training more workouts more functional movements um whatever it is that you're participating in so semen retention does have its benefits um in terms of basically you'll be less tired right you'll be more have a more heightened stamina um, so one of the other benefits of semen retention is improved focus and concentration. Um, 
Yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> it's exactly what it sounds like. Um, for one of the things I didn't mention before in terms of ejaculation and what happens when you participate in it is your body actually goes through a series of um, reactions post ejaculation and one of them is producing a large amount of melatonin. Um, for those who don't know, melatonin allows your body to enter a more calm or relaxed state. Um, so that's one of the reasons why after sex or after masturbation, you get kind of like sleepy within like a 10 to 15 minute period it's because your body has entered that state in which it's producing melatonin and it's basically telling you to be relaxed. You, need, you know, I mean, from a science perspective, after you produce a, if you per perform or uh, participate in a mating act, your body's supposed to rest, it's supposed to recover, right? I mean, if we're getting down to the raw nature of things, right? Like, you know, you, you just technically are supposed to put your seed inside, you know, in, in, participated in a mating act, you're supposed to be in a rest and recovery period. So your body does the science to 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 assist with that, right? So that's where the melatonin production happens and, and you get more tired. So the opposite of that in semen retention is you don't have these large um, deposits or releases of melatonin because again, you're not ejaculating. And as a result, you're, you're not tired, you're not sleepy. Um, uh, at least not when you're not supposed to be, right? Uh, most of the time, when people are masturbating or they're participating in ejaculation or some form of relations, um, it's, it, it, the times of the day can vary. Um, sometimes people do it midday, meaning you're, you're probably creating this relaxed state when you don't necessarily need it. Um, it'd be different if you're on like a schedule. Um, remember, I recommend you get at least six hours of sleep a night. And you know, if you're doing it as a, a an activity to get you to fall asleep, um, to keep you on that schedule, that could be a little different. But if you're doing it, you know, just randomly, it could throw your, your sleeping schedule off, right? You could be getting more hours of sleep than needed. Um, you could be sleeping in the middle of the day and that might not necessarily be what you need to do. Um, so yeah, bringing it back full circle. Benefits, improve focus and concentration. Um, you are not in a constant relaxed state because you are not ejaculating. Um, also testosterone, again, will heighten the body senses a little bit because, you know, you do have these, these large hormonal deposits of testosterone because you're not ejaculating so it will allow you to focus more it will allow you to go a little harder when performing functional movements as well as exercising um, last but not least increased muscle growth all right so when i say increased muscle growth let's be clear this is the one of those uh benefits where it's like the studies kind of vary on this um i think this is the primary reason i feel like people try to participate in semen retention. However, I don't think it has the effect that I think people think it has. Um, okay, I don't know. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> when, when I say improved muscle growth, uh, I mean that your body will have large deposits of testosterone, which will then stimulate you to go harder or, you know, go longer in your workouts, right? Which will then cause larger muscle tears um, and, and allow you to recover, generating larger muscles over time, right? I feel like people think that um, semen retention somehow helps you with like the protein recovery process where you're, you know what I mean? Basically seeing like, because you're not ejaculating, you're going to get larger muscles because you're not shooting out this, you know, the, these deposits of protein in mm -hmm. your seminal fluid. And I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that portion of it. I don't, I don't, I, again, I'm not a doctor. This is my opinion. I don't think it works like that. I think it's more so of a from a hormonal boost, you can then go harder and the results will then be better, right? Okay. But you don't necessarily just, you know, your muscles aren't gonna get bigger because you're not ejaculating, like just overnight. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't it's not, it's not a, I, I, and again, in my opinion, I don't think it's a fair trade like that. I don't think you just, oh, like, yeah, my body has more protein because I'm not shooting out seminal fluid, so therefore it's gonna go straight to my muscles and I'm gonna become Popeye. Like, that's not how it works. He ate spinach. That. <laughs> that. <laughs> um, but that being said, yes, increased muscle growth is a a potential benefit in the terms of you'll basically go harder in your workout, harder in your workout. All right. Oh, that's what y'all be doing. Oh my lord, have mercy. <laughs> but yeah, okay. those are the bottom line up front. Um, we'll get back to the question. Make sure I answered. That's what semen retention is. The process of you know not ejaculating through any means. Um, I discussed the particular health benefits, so improved stamina uh, from a sexual and non-sexual non performance, um, improved focus and concentration, and I'm sorry, increased muscle growth uh, through specifically through testosterone boost. Let me let me be clear because I got to make sure what my stance on it is. Increased muscle growth through testosterone boost. Okay, 
and would I recommend it or not? Um, if it's something you're looking to try, I think, let's put it this way, I, I think there are a lot of other things that you can try on a list before you get to this. If your goal is to use it to for the beneficial effects, um, there are things that'll help you, you know, natural things that'll help you concentrate more. There are natural um, things out there that'll, that'll help you um, improve your, your, your stamina as well as your muscle growth. So maybe try some of those first prior to semen retention. If it's something that you're doing anyway, you know, uh, for other reasons, religious practices, um, just morals and values, go for it. You know what I mean? Um, if it's, I guess if it's one of those things where it's not going to impact your lifestyle, I, I, go for it. If, if, you, if you think it's beneficial and I've, I've given you the, the pros and cons, uh, try it out and, and, and see what happens. So I'm not opposed to it. I just think it's an extreme and I think the reward um, that you get for it can be reached by other means and may not necessarily yield the results that you want. However, again, the, the studies show what they, saw, they show, especially from a sports perspective, um, people do it. And there were some big names in there, um, at least from a, when I was doing research, I think from the, the boxing perspective, um, there, there were some, some people that were recognizable that were participating in this practice uh, before prize fights. So if you think it's something you wanna do, try it out. Am I participating? No. <laughs> the the ejaculation process via masturbation and via vaginal intercourse is different. You don't release the... Um, the Yeah, the amount of... Yeah, it's different. Oh, yeah, because the stimulation is different, right? right the amount yeah. of seminal fluid and sperm and content releases is, is, yeah. is much greater. This is, don't have, this is not don't have sex. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, yeah. So thank you for bringing that up, Corey. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's it's. I think I want to say it's almost it's three times. Yeah, different, like, different. this is pretty Pamela Anderson's out here. <laughs> yeah, you, you just wanna. I could say I, I you know, I, 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 I have so, so many jokes to rattle off, but I'm just, you know. But yeah, I'm that's keep that's PG thirteen. <laughs> that's the bottom line up front. If you're going to participate in semen retention, do so at your own risk for you know for whatever that you think it'll it'll cause but i think there are other means to reach that that end result all right all right one second y'all okay so i did the timer and i was like bro let's see that's that just fucked up i don't know i like, see i mean look at it now that's what i can do that's what i'll do like i'll like when I timed it, hey, I'm so Wait, you didn't get to the part where it gets Yeah, the I know, but I'm saying it's like this second is like, it's not like it's one second. Maybe my maybe my watch is messed up. Like maybe that's the issue, you know what I mean? But like I'm timing them both and it's not the same. Like, so I started at 7.06. So when this says 10 seconds, it'd be 7.16. Okay, this is just fucking behind. See something? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. Not. Move it behind the, the cut. No, I'm saying I started this at 7.06, so this uh -huh. should be 7.26 right now, which is like, well, it is a little bit. I'm, I don't fucking know, bro. I'm saying what you were looking at, it could have changed when we, were, we stopped and started. The mm -hmm. time could, maybe we did like an Alvin and the Chipmunks thing on the second half. That's so what I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But I just want to see if this like slows down or speeds up. See, that's what, yeah, that's what I was talking about. What we didn't do anything though. Oh, it's me. I mean, you know what I mean. Like at least you caught it before we got through the whole episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, what happened? Okay, so I could strip you, but like it's like we didn't do nothing. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know what we did. I mean, do you want to record it again? Let's just fucking do it again. You want to do it again? Yeah, yeah, you want to do everything again? Yeah. yeah I don't want to say different. Fucking shit. Yeah, it's like it's too many. I need to stop it. Yeah, yeah. It's too many.